Hey! Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jade Monkey. We're doing this live. We have the chat with us here. Uh, we're doing some beta base builds, but also the console edition, Rust. Uh, this will apply to everything. So we're here. We're going to do the slug base, as it were. The slug water base. Water slug? Water slug base over here. Let me go ahead and use my admin powers and float above this here. And we are going to build this. This is for a solo. You can turn this into a duo, possibly a trio, as you expand it. Uh, but this is meant to be a satellite base, a starter on the water to grab those boats, those all-important boats, to park them, use them, stow them, and go out and do the flotillas. Let me go ahead and show you what some of these look like. Good way to progress. Um, very compact. And there's also sunken treasures. Oops, there's one that despawned. There's sunken treasures. There's sunken boats right there by the, um, the white water bottles. Can't really see it. It's a little too deep, but you get the idea. Anyway, so the water slug. Here we go. This should be on the fairly cheap and cheap. Let me show you what this looks like here while I take a sip of the old tactical cylinder. And then we have its friend over there that's a bit beefier. Uh, again, this is meant to be upgraded. This is not a heavy-duty base to stop a lot of raid action. This is meant to be low-key, either as a primary starter, and then you have to expand in a modular fashion, or you have a main base, and then you have this satellite base that sits on the water that you use to do water runs, and then you collect your loot and then go back to your main base. Does that make sense? We cool? We good? Chat, holler in, say what's up, be nice. Yeah! Got him in there, let's see what they say. Okay, so this is what it looks like if you upgrade it. We do have the tops taken off here so you can get a better idea of what's what. And I'm a fan of leaving these different areas here, wood, so you can expand them, especially the boat section. As a lot of times you'll see, let me just go ahead and show you the example here real quick, and then we'll get into the build. Uh, you can't have foundations up high because you've got the wall sitting there. So if you want to make those changes, having a metal hatchet, uh, knocking it out on the soft side, can help you do those expansions and adjustments later easier. Because remember, in this game, building is very permanent after things are cemented. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and link the building basics guide now in the upper right-hand corner. And somebody in the chat. Hook us up, exclamation point, build guide, all one word, yeah? Good, good dudes. Okay, so right away you can see that there's a difference in here where we have a lot of wooden doors, even a wooden wall here. But this is all for expansion and to keep people off your back since day one. If you're new to the server or if it's wipe day, whatever. Even if you're a solo player. All right, let me make sure we got this over there. Everybody saying hi? Hi! Okay. So we're going to start over here, and again, I'm assuming that you've got some of the basics under your belt. So I would craft um, your tool cupboard, and make sure you've got your hammer and your building plans as well. And I'm going to do this with no blueprint deployables first, and then we'll show you what the expansion looks like and what uh, roller doors could look like or garage doors. Okay, right away, we're going to go off into the water almost until you start swimming, right, like this. You can tell because you stop making kicking noises or stepping noises. I'm going to bring it down where that fat log left and right is almost above the water there, or almost above the ground. We're going to do one more just like that. Then we're going to do a triangle piece off of this that goes up a bit higher. Now, I'm assuming you have some stone for this. Now, this is going to be the water garage. I'm going to go ahead and make this wood, then switch to the wall frame. Bam, more wood. Then make this wood here. Twig again with the X's on the inside as that is soft side. And again, that building guide is going to help you a lot for that. We have a raised triangle foundation here. Again, holding secondary fire on your building plans, whatever that is on PlayStation or Xbox. And then we've got the foundation over here. Again, raised. And then we're going to switch secondary fire hold on building plans. And then we're going to build the square foundation. Now, very quickly, if you've got your tool cupboard already crafted. And again, I have super stacks here. Things don't stack like that on official. This just makes it easier for us to build. Uh, again, on the building plans, we're going to put the X facing towards you. Then we're going to select the triangle ceiling tile. Then we're going to go to the hammer and hold secondary fire and then select a stone. I just struck out. Stone. And if your walls are flipped like this, as long as you're in the cementing phase still, you can rotate. Cementing phases last anywhere between 5 and 10 minutes since you last placed. Believe me, you don't want to get caught after that because you're going to have to raid your own stuff. All right, so now with all of this stone here, we're going to place this tool cupboard facing you with the handles. We're going to authorize, and again, if you're dirt poor, like 
most of us are when you start. You're going to place a wooden lock and you are going to hold action. Whoops, you're going to hold action on the wooden lock and lock it. Make sure the lock is red. Do not make a key. You place the lock so you can actually unlock things since you're the owner. Even if you're playing with a duo player or more, you want to make sure that you uh, don't make a key. Save up for the code lock later on. All right, so we've got a wall frame here since we don't have a, what is it, the reinforced glass? We're going to make that stone. We're going to place this wooden door here. And again, looking left and right, kind of flips the door open. You want to make sure it opens towards you like this. And again, put on that wooden lock as soon as you possibly can. Hold action, make sure it's locked, make sure it's red. Do not make a key. Now, the reason why you do this right away, and again, I'm assuming you're on an official server, we all will be, you're gonna get shot at a lot, okay? Sometimes you'll be making a base attempt like this, and you may not make it, okay? I'm just being real. That's, that's just the nature of this game, it's okay. Learn from your mistakes, but this is meant to secure this temporarily while you build the rest. Now. Is this invincible? <laughs> oh no. That wooden door can be clapped down by flame rays or yokas if you really tick somebody off or they don't want to be your neighbor. So it's important for you to do the next step as quickly as possible. Now for this, that's going to be stone. This wall is going to be stone. This foundation is going to be stone. Then switch to your building plans. Hold secondary fire. Select doorway. Again with the X's towards you being the soft wall. Now hold action on your hammer. Secondary fire action. And then uh, stone. Now, with a wooden door crafted, you're going to place as the door opens outward and then place a wooden lock. Again, hold action, lock it, do not make a key. Now, if you can see here, this opens there. This is pretty standard fare for us. Prevents you from leaving with your TC covered room open. Again, not invincible. You can still get clapped. Now, take some of your extra supplies, or I should say most of your supplies, place them in your tool cupboard, and try to go outside with what we call going skinny. So it's minimal loot whenever you can outside and when you're doing adjustments or additions to the base. That way if somebody catches you slipping outside, you'll lose less. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's finish this little cubby hole here first. Close the door. You need to put a lid on top. So we've got, um, again, holding secondary fire in the building plans. Select the floor. Then switch to your hammer. Hold secondary fire yet again. And then do stone. Now, if you can't afford stone, try to make the floor stone first. Then go to wood and then upgrade these as you see fit. A lot of times now I'll place like small boxes and stuff on the floor. Again, you can still get snatched up pretty easily. So you wanna make sure you're doing the rest here. All right, so let's go ahead and add a little bit of honeycomb action to this. So we're assuming that you're dirt poor for this portion. So I'm gonna place another wooden door frame. We still good chat, you guys hanging in there? And now we're going to place another wooden door frame like this. Now a triangle ceiling tile. We're going to switch to the hammer. And we're going to do things like uh, wood. Let's just say we don't have enough stone yet. You can see soft sides facing inwards. And then let's do stone for this. And then stone for this. Now if you're crafting two more of these doors, you're going to place one here that goes in towards you. Place a lock again. Hold action. Lock it. Don't make a key. Another door here facing inwards towards you. Again, lock, hold action, lock it, no key. Now, you're probably like, hey, that's soft side out. You are correct. We are going to place another wall right here and then make this wood. That's very important because this will be used for the expansion or it'll make it easier for the expansion later. Uh, let me just show you. I'm going to detach the camera and slide over here for a sec and show you what that looks like. It's this wall right here. And then it's going to turn into this expansion here. See this roller door, this frame, and this, what is this? A loot room on the side. So it just makes it easier for you to make that addition. You know. We'll pop back on again the chat towards the end, ladies and gentlemen. Yes? Okay, so back to the build here. Uh, this should keep people at bay. If you look here, again, this is our single pass-through setup, like so. And it's going to give you time to save up and make those metal fragments. Again, metal fragments can be recycled uh, from components or you can smelt them. There's recyclers all over the place on the map. Again, every map is different. They're procedural. They'll be in different locations, different wipes. Uh, from wipe to wipe, from, map, uh, from server to server. So just keep that in mind. So you can either recycle your way there or you can smelt. So let's assume that we've got enough to make you our first furnace. Again, furnaces. I always like to cover this because this is always a bottleneck when you start. 
50 low grade. It's always, always, always going to be low grade. So stay on top of it, collect it, bring it back. Hit the red barrels. I don't know why people don't hit red barrels. It's got crude and it's got <laughs> low grade. Bring it home. Let's say you're smelting some of this so we can make a replacement for this later. And then let's go finish our little boat hopper we have outside. Okay, you know what? Let's go back inside. I'm going to try to do this on the ground as much as possible. Again, I have admin. That's why I can fly around like a goon. Now, right here, I like to put a... What is this called? Just a regular floor. Then, uh, for boats, you need to make sure you have one and a half tiles high. So that's why we've switched to half walls, not to be confused with a low wall. Low walls don't have a socket on top. You can't do much with them. So, just... Yeah, keep that in mind. Hold the hammer, upgrade all of these to wood until you have a good reason to solidify it. This frame, you can make stone here. And then if you need to move this, again, you can soft side hit this. A foundation soft side is the top. If that makes sense. Oh my goodness, crouch jump, there we go. And then everything else will be wood here. This is stone because that's the tool covered wall. Now we're going to switch to the building plans real quick and go another ceiling or floor like so. Actually, I'm going to jump up here and upgrade this first to wood. Come back down here like this. Place this here. Now the wood upgrade for both of these. Probably asking yourself, Jade, that's crazy. Why do you have that there? Well, you can stick more boxes here and it helps with the boat coming inside. Now, a little bit of the magic might be gone because I'm going to have to spawn the boat in, I think. Um, but again, if you have a double wooden door, place it here. This is for the boat itself. And then you're going to place a wooden lock. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Use the old admin powers. We're going to fly up for a second, see if we can't find a boat here on the shore. Looks like we're going to have to spawn it. The magic is gone, Jade. It is. All right. Obviously, you can't do this on an official server. Oh, your boy can't spell. A, a boy at. There we go. Magic. All right. So if you have low grade, let's say you find one of these on the beach, they won't decay or they will decay slower with a roof over their head. That's part of the reason why you're doing this. We're going to build this up here and then drive it in the front. We can store it. Now, the reason why we don't have shelves above your head is because this is where you dismount and rust is really good about killing exploits yeah that's amazing right i love it so having anything above your head makes it either impossible to dismount or it makes it a little glitchy um, so it's just better for movement to do it like this now if you don't have a roller door that's fine you can take the lock off and the door each time you come in and out it's a bit of an operation but hey the boat is worth its weight in gold for sure again holding action making sure that's locked how we doing chat you guys holding up you good you good and then we're going to crouch our way up here now that you've captured a boat. They should spawn on the beach or you can steal them from other players. I'm a big fan of ganking them from players. And uh, yeah, just know that you can do that there. I like to bag that as soon as possible. And just know in the future, this wall will be knocked down with a metal hatchet. So you can do some expansion. We'll cover that at the very, very end of this segment. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and select a triangle ceiling tile and then make this wood as well. Technically, you know what? We can make that stone. Now, we're going to make a wall frame here. If you're having trouble placing stuff, if you crouch close to the boat, you can push it. Or if it's really in the way, because this hitbox is a little goofy, you can drive it back outside. But be careful. People will try to kill you. I'm going to make this wood. Let's say we've got a double door action. We can have it open towards us. Again, placing a wood lock. Hold the action. Make sure it's locked. Do not make a key. And then up here, oh, you know what, I should have done this first. I'm going to use my admin powers and float up so we're going quickly. Before you put that on, you'd make these big boxes if you have enough metal fragments. This is a default BP, and this is 250 wood and 50 metal fragments, just so you know. I like to put these here because it creates a nice little drop box area for you to drop stuff off and then go back out and loot some more of these junk piles out here. That's where the money's at in the sunken ships. It's uh, excellent for progression, just saying. All right, let me fly back in there. The illusion is broken. And yes, eventually when you have a better setup, you want to make sure you're moving stuff out of these boxes when you can because wood is not invincible by any stretch of the imagination. All right, so let's go in and let's do some quality of life inside of here. Now, let's say you've done 
enough smelting here. Now you can afford, I'm going to go ahead and just delete this. Normally you would pick this up. Again, you don't have access to that kind of stuff on official. I'm going to delete this too to make it easier. Let's say we now have enough to make the double sheet metal doors, which again, this equates to four satchels. You make this, it's 200 metal fragments. Where the first thing you're gonna do is protect your tool cupboard. So we're gonna place one here. And if you do have teammates, I'm gonna throw this on the ground. Whew, it hurts to do that. If you do have teammates, make a code lock. A code lock is 100 metal fragments. That way when they type it in, they can keep coming in and out and you don't have to have a bell hop. A door hop? A door hop? Would it be a door hop? Anyways, with that there, You'll now stop a Yoko raid on the tool cupboard, and the tool cupboard is how you claim this base. So, yeah, it just keeps people from stealing the base outright. And then when you can afford the next one, you're going to replace this one next as soon as you can. And if you're solo, you can just keep them wooden locks, to be honest, and don't ever make a key. If you're solo, duo, it does not matter. Just don't make a key. And now with that in there, let's say you now are progressing even further, and now you have yourself a little worky bench number one. So I would place that right here in the corner, push it all the way against the wall here, and make sure that you have enough clearance to walk in and out. You know what? I just remembered this door should be swinging outward. You wouldn't normally destroy it. Or could you? You couldn't. There we go. That way, if somebody comes by this base, right? It goes, oh, look at this piece of trash. Let's yoke at the door, because I would totally do that. You're hiding the fact that you have the ability to stop them on the inside. So you're kind of getting them to commit, and then they're going to be stone cold stunned for that one, because they'll need satchels. And believe me, you need those satchels to get in, and most people don't have them to start. Say, like, look, it, say they were to destroy this or the wall, they come in here and go, oh, I guess we, we can only raid this. And then what are they going to do? Raid more wood? By then, you should be home or catch them slipping. But this metal door and this metal door stops yoka raids and flame raids. Okay, so you've got some more metal fragments, you say. Time to make some more boxes. Put this one here with the buckle facing out. Jump on this. Rotate, whatever the button is. And then bring it towards you as best you can. That way, you can kind of jump up from this section here by holding crouch and then jumping up. If it's too close to the door, jumping in and hitting your head on the frame can be kind of a pain. And if you did this right, you should be able to keep this bad boy back there. Again, not high amounts of smelting power, but it will get the job done. Again, the purpose of this base is to have a satellite base to store a boat. So you can keep pushing and doing those scrap piles and then take it back to base. Now, there is an option to take it up to a more upgraded level, even add a second story to it. And this is what this looks like here. And again, I should say, if you are enjoying this, finding it informative, be sure to drop a like. Whether you're in the stream or you're watching this later, so this is what this is going to look like a bit later. And again, this is wood in here because you can expand this a bit later as well. These, this wall here, and potentially this frame, you might want to turn into a wall frame later. You can see how this center core that we just looked at is, well, it's upgraded to a level 2 workbench, but now these are metal here, and that's the difference between a stone wall costing... Uh, I just I struck out 10 satchels and these metal walls costing 23. So you can see how that really bulks it up. And then we have also armored up the exterior here. Yes. Everybody in the chat, while we do the expansion here, say hello. Okay, so now let's say you've got a bit more money. You've done a couple more of these runs. You've ground things up in the recycler. Things are going well for you. Places that you would want to upgrade, obviously the top of that. You'd want to knock this door out. Put down a sheet metal door. I'm trying to go quick because, again, these do take a hot minute. Now, if you wanted to do that expansion on the side, which is this loot room here, you would take a metal hatchet and then hit the soft side of that, s not the stone wall, but the wooden wall. Like this. Let me get on the ground so you can see what that looks like. And if you're doing these boat runs, you'll you'll get a freaking hatchet, I'm telling you. So you would hit this, and it goes down rather quickly. Let me just go ahead and show you what this looks like. It would be this, and then watch how fast it goes down. Oh, yeah. If you're wondering, hey, how do I do raids? How do I know what's soft or hard side? What works? What doesn't? I've got a raid guide. I'll go ahead and link that now in the upper right-hand corner. Chat, hook me up. Yeah! 
So watch, see how quickly that goes down on the soft side? So I'm going to use my admin tools and then get rid of that. And then as soon as that's broken, you're going to build out a little square. And again, holding the secondary fire. Select the walls with the X's facing towards you. Hopefully you have enough ducats to make this stone. Double check your wall placement again. If it's not cemented, you can rotate. The only other time you can rotate after the cementing phase is when you upgrade it. So, yes, if, if things have settled in and have cemented, you have to raid your own base. So be careful. Uh, right now, what I'm going to do is use a half wall. Now I'm going to select a floor and then place it here with the hammer. I can now select this since it's in the cementing phase still. I can now demolish the bottom piece. I can now make that stone. Now we have ourselves a fancy loot room. I'm going to place a floor tile up there. Switch to hammer, hold secondary fire, bam. Make that stone, go back to building plans, hold secondary fire, wall frame, bam. Back to hammer, hold secondary fire, bam, stone. Now let's say you're rich. Let's say you've done a lot of the water runs and now you've got the garage door BP learned and you're crafting this now. Now you can place one right here. Roll a door towards you with the, what is this? The code lock. Like so. And just to show you, there are many different ways to do loot rooms. Just so you know, I'm just doing one that's pretty quick and dirty. A lot of times you'll end up kind of rearranging things, but this will get you started. You can at least put four boxes in a tiny one right in the middle without obstructing a doorway. Crouch jump, get up, go here, buckle out, rotate, buckle out to the right. Now slap one of these little dudes in here. Oops. Wasn't that careful? That should work. Okay, that way it gives you access. People can kind of crouch and get in there. What this does, it makes a lot safer here. So if somebody's in your base and your crew goes out on the boat, comes back in, the crew can dump here quickly. And then anybody in the base can come here and then move this from these boxes that's obviously not very secure because you're sitting next to wooden walls. Then you can move it in here and then start dropping it in this loot room. And then clearly you would close this before you leave. And again, let's say you're rich. Now that this is, is this wood? I should make this stone. Oh, let's wait for that to disappear. There we go, stone. Yes, you still leave these compartments wood. So if you need to make the expansion, you can. But what you can do now is if you have a roller boy, you can now place these here and now you're really protected. Now the next choice here is, if you think people are gonna raid you from this door in, leave the hard side facing you here. If you think they're more likely to come in from this side, leave the hard side facing inside of here. Either way, I'm just gonna upgrade this to stone. We're gonna knock this door out. We're gonna put a, what do you call it? Sheet metal door, have it open inwards. And uh, sheet metal doors cost four satchels. These cost nine to go through those. So just keep that in mind. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's say you've got some more money and you're going to need to upgrade the base itself. And we'll go ahead and wrap it up here pretty soon. Uh, you're going to upgrade this, the ceiling, the back tile here, and the floor whenever you can. I like to leave these stone because really the only other thing that could fit in this socket is an armored door. And you're not there yet. You know what I mean? Like armored door is some pretty hefty stuff. So what I'd like to do back here is then make sure the tool cupboard is then protected. Upgrade blocked <gasps> by the boat. That's why. That's a good... It's good that we did it. We push away from the wall. See how that hitbox is kind of goofy. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use my admin powers again. We're going to delete the boat. Bam. It's just faster. Just saying. Go over here. Jump up. Now we can upgrade it. Bam. Upgrade the back. Don't forget to upgrade the upper tile. If you, these are blocked or it's a bit tight, you can make yourself a little half wall thing to jump up the exterior you don't necessarily need a ladder and then those should be upgraded there now let's just do the jump up and then we'll be done with this bad boy All right, I'm gonna break away so you can see it and we've left that wooden frame right here in the front just in case you wanted to knock it out and make it a wall frame again because you can fit a garage door in those wall frames you can't fit a garage door in this single door frame clearly so, it just gives you some more options. Let me show what this looks like over here. And for my reference, 
All right, so you're going to make another compartment here and then a triangle jump up to complete it. And then this is the loot room we just added, and this is the compartment for the boat. Good time to take a swig of the tactical cylinder. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so since the plan is to add on this, same idea. You're going to make these wood because they'll keep people back enough, but you wouldn't store anything in here. Make this stone and make this triangle and make that stone. Let's make this a wall facing you. And let's say you've got a leftover wooden door. You would probably place it here because you just need enough to hold people back, really. You want them to waste their cheese. It's good. And right here, I'm going to bring down the building plans real quick. Half wall, then a floor triangle. You can go down here and then break this. If you jump up like so, a lot of times, I have a hard time snapping it on these. So I'll just place another floor triangle, and then you can place these a bit easier. And then with the hammer out, you can then destroy this. Now we're going to upgrade this, and this, and this. And we're going to add a roof tile here. And a triangle ceiling. Upgrade that to stone. Now let's make a wall frame. Upgrade that to stone and this floor tile. And take one of these double doors. Maybe you got it from the upgrade downstairs and have it open either inwards or outwards. I say outwards because it gives you a bit more cover. And now you've got yourself secondary, secondary, secondary. What am I saying? Roof access, not secondary storage. Jeez, am I having a stroke? And then down here I would do something like secondary storage. What do I say? Like this. And then if you had a roller boy again, you could probably get it from the looting out in the water, to be honest. Now you've got some decent protection to go up. You can make the jump up here. And you've got room for expansion on the wooden side. So you've got roof access, plenty of other spaces here to do a secondary a second floor. Why am I saying secondary? I'm having a stroke. So there you go. This is the water slug. This is for the Rust Console Edition. You can start off small like this. If you're solo duo, or you can expand it to this. It's a strong starter. It's an excellent satellite base to do the water runs with the rowboats to sh store and secure the, the rowboats, which is essential or else they decay. So yes, if you found it useful and helpful, be sure to drop a like. And if you're not already subscribed, and you think you'll watch it, go ahead and do that and turn on notifications. Do it, you won't. And chat, say what's up. I'm going to show you what this looks like here while everybody says hi. Yeah. You like the water slug? <laughs> do you know what I mean? These take for, like a long time to do, right? Let's see if that was any good later. 